Hi, welcome to my channel. Today is not gonna be my typical video. I don't really know if I have any sort of typical videos yet, but I do our stuff if that's what you're interested in. Um, today's not gonna be that. Um, today, I wanna talk to you guys about what's going on right now, obviously. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna edit this video. I am honestly am thinking of just uploading this as soon as I'm done filming it. Um, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts and a lot of feelings in my head and in my heart right now that I'm gonna try and express. So, um, Freddy's gonna be chewing on his bone. If that bothers you, I'm fucking sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not gonna make him stop. But, I just wanna start by saying that if you do not support the Black Lives Move the Black Lives Matter movement, and you're gonna be a racist piece of shit. Honestly, don't subscribe to me, or unsubscribe to me and fucking go, because I don't want racist people in my little community here. Um, yeah, that's just it. I just leave, because don't want you here. Thanks, sayonara. Um, I have a lot of stuff written down here, um, and I've tried to film this once, but it was so scattered, and this still might be a little bit scattered. Bless you, and I'm sorry if it is. Um, bear with me, I guess. So, I also want to say that I am very much aware that I don't have this big giant platform, but I'm still going to use whatever platform I do have to speak out on this because just fucking because because it's something that I stand for and that I stand with and that's it um yeah I will use my voice anyway I guess basically is what I'm trying to say so other than just getting that general stuff across I almost don't know where to begin and that's kind of why I had to stop recording it the first time that I was and write everything down because it was so scattered and so everywhere. I just, I, I didn't know, I didn't know where to begin. So I'll begin, I guess, all of this by saying black lives fucking matter, okay? <laughs> black lives matter, period, end of discussion. It blows my mind that people in this world um, don't agree with that, too. <laughs> like, why? Why don't you agree that Black Lives Matter? They fucking do. And that's just, that's it. That's facts. Straight fucking facts. Black Lives Matter. That's it. So... I see it all the time on social media and I'm sure that if you're on social media you've seen a lot of the same stuff that I'm about to say but I just I need to get this out of my brain because it's circling and I can't I, I need to get the words out so that's what I'm doing um I've yeah fuck I see it all the time that people are saying all lives matter. I get what you're saying. And I guess I don't, I, I technically don't disagree with you, but you're missing the point here. And all lives don't matter until black lives matter. That's it. And I don't get what's so hard for people to grasp about that. Like, if you can say that all lives matter, why can't you just say that black lives matter too? And it seems like a lot of the same people that are saying all lives matter are saying blue lives matter. That's a whole other tangent, I guess. But if you can say that all lives matter 
And you can say that blue lives matter, but you can't say that black lives matter. There's only one word in there that's different than the others, I guess, technically, and that's black. So you need to ask yourself, why is it that you can't say that black lives matter? And if that one thing, but you're saying these other two things, it just doesn't add up. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and I also want to say that back, I don't know, a few, I'm, I'm still in my fucking work clothes, Jesus. <sighs> back a few years ago, um, there was another Black Lives Matter movement going on. I don't remember when it was, um, but I used to be that person that was like, well, all lives matter. And then, since then, I've educated myself on what saying that means, and I've educated myself on the all lives can't matter until black lives matter, and all of that. And I just want to say that there's nothing wrong with educating yourself and changing your views and learning more about a situation. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think we need to normalize that. There's nothing wrong with being able to say that you were wrong. Because I know that I was wrong back then when I wasn't educated on it. And I had no reason to not be educated on it because there's the fucking internet, <laughs> right? So I wanna, I guess, apologize for my past self for not being educated and not knowing and not realizing sooner I guess that fuck this will be all jumbled so even though I have everything written down there's just so much going on in my brain that it's hard it, it, it's hard um but educate yourselves that's it. That's kind of all I gotta say. Um, and, you know, I've seen it where, you know, people like me, I'm half white, so I'm, I'm white. I look very white. You know, they say, well, you're white, so what about like your white, your white privilege? Yeah, I'm aware. I have white privilege. A, I don't know, two weeks ago or so I was pulled over and the only thing that I had to worry about was if I was going to get a ticket and if I was going to be able to pay it. Not that I was going to fucking die. That's white privilege. I can go for a jog around my block during daylight. <laughs> um, without being afraid that I'm gonna have the cops called on me and murdered because of the color of my skin. And that's white privilege. And I just wanna say that when saying that you have white privilege, it doesn't mean that you haven't struggled in your life. It doesn't mean that, you know, you have this great fantastic life. That's not what anyone's trying to say, but what we're trying to say is that you most likely don't have to worry about getting fucking murdered because of the color of your skin. Okay? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. I know that I have white privilege. And so I want to use my white privilege for the Black Lives Matter movement. I will, <laughs> I've seen that picture circulating around of all of the white women that were standing as a barricade um, in front of, the black protesters against the police. And that's what I'm fucking talking about, dude. Like, that is using your white privilege for the movement, and that's what I'm fucking about. Like, I don't know. And I just, I can't say it enough that it blows my mind that more people are not on board with this. And granted, I'm only seeing, as far as the people that are not on board with it, it's mainly coming from my hometown, which sucks. Um, and I don't want to discredit my hometown because there are a lot of amazing, amazing and peaceful protests going on and around my hometown and I am, I don't know, I just thank you guys, I guess, because fuck, 
And I love to see my hometown community come together like that and be able to peacefully protest and, you know, all of that stuff. And I, I'm sure that it's not always peaceful because I did see a report of something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was of somebody dying. And I'm not saying that that's not a bad thing because that is a bad, <laughs> people dying is a bad fucking thing. But that's not the point that I'm trying to say here. Um, I just want to say thank you to the people in my hometown that are organizing these peaceful protests, going to these peaceful protests, using your voices, keeping it peaceful. And yeah, there's, a, the, my God, my brain. I have a lot of amazing people on my feet as well. And I don't want to just discredit them because they are fucking amazing. Um, I don't want to necessarily like blast their names out on like my channel, but I shouted you guys out <laughs> minus like a few people that I forgot. So you guys are fucking great. And another fucking shout out to you. You know who you are. That's it. <sighs> also, I want to say that this isn't about politics and that kind of has to go into a lot of the people from my hometown because I grew up in, I, I, I believe it's a majority, or it's, oh my god, brain, words, words are hard. I want to say it's mostly Republican back where I'm from, but this isn't about politics. And I see all these fucking people on my Facebook saying, well, all these Democrats and all the blah, 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 blah. This isn't political. Don't get me wrong. Fuck Donald Trump. He's a fucking piece of shit. All right. <laughs> Don't get that twisted. But this isn't about politics. This is about human rights. And with that, I see a lot of people on my new or on my feed on Facebook as well saying, well, this person was killed during the protest and this person was cu was killed d during the protest, you know, because he was trying to protect his store. And no one's saying that that's not about it's fucking terrible. And it makes my heart hurt that these other people have lost their lives. Believe me, like, fuck, I don't know. It's just no one's saying that that's not bad as well. And all of these people on my Facebook want to just throw that information in there. And I get it because it's also important that these people are, you know, that their names are also said and I get it. But you using that to be like, well, look what these protests are doing. That's no, no, because n nobody is saying that that's not bad. It's fucking terrible. So why can't we all just fucking agree that it's terrible and that y'all need to stop fucking killing people? I don't get it. <sighs> Sorry. I also want to say that I am so disappointed in a lot of the people from my hometown and or like families that I've known since middle school or even longer because I've always known these people to be kind and loving and all this stuff and then I see the shit that they're posting disagreeing with the movement or disagreeing with the protests or you know and it's like you know you are such a sweet lady <laughs> and then race comes up and here's the thing i can disagree with people about politics and still be their friends i can disagree with people about favorite whatever the fucks i can i can disagree with people about things and still be friends with them but one thing that we cannot disagree on and still be friends is your fucking racism because it's not okay. So that's why I'm saying if you're a fucking racist or if you don't support the Black Lives Movement, get the fuck off my channel. I don't want you here. I want kind, loving, non-racist people <laughs> in my little community here that I have. Granted, it's 40 people or so. I fucking love all 40 of you. Unless you're a racist, then fuck you and leave. <laughs> Sorry. But 
I don't know. I'm just so fucking sad and upset. Um, and I'm really fucking angry. And I'm trying not to get worked up because here's how I see it. And this is just me. I'm not saying that this has to be you, right? <sighs> Black people are upset and they're hurt and it's very justified as to why they are. I don't want to mistake that for a second. I, yes, it's, you are, yes, <laughs> right? Um, they have to try and keep their cool when they're upset and mad and just fucking furious because if they, you know, try to express their hurt, then that gets fucking twisted on them. And then they're seen as a threat and then they're seen as this angry person and all this stuff. And it's like, no, that's not. I don't see. <sighs> uh, yeah. So, sorry, my brain's jumbled. So if they have to try and keep their cool and so it's I feel like the least I can fucking do is try to keep my cool and not go off on people about this stuff because yeah I don't know I hope that makes sense um main point is I'm trying to keep my cool because they have to keep their cool they don't have a choice so I'm gonna do what I can to keep my cool and I don't want to be the person that is making the movement look bad, you know? So I'm gonna do my best to not be upset, but I'm angry and I'm sad and yeah. And I'm not gonna take a break from social media um, aside from maybe posting videos, you know, um, while this is going on. But as far as my Twitter and my Instagram and my Facebook goes, I'm not taking a break from it because that is, I guess, my privilege is that I can just shut my phone off and put it down and not have to worry about it. But black people can't take off their skin at the end of the day the same way that, you know, cops can take off their uniforms at the end of the day. Black people can't just fucking take a break from this. This is their everyday lives, every minute of their everyday lives. So, while I understand that it might be better for my mental health to probably take a break from social media because fuck dude, I'm spiraling. At the same time, like, they don't get to take a break from their experiences of this fucking bullshit. So I'm not going to either. And I'm not saying that it's wrong if you need to take a break from social media. Everybody's different. I, if, if you need to turn off your phone and if you need to like not think, you know, if, if you just need to turn on some fucking cartoons, go for it. I'm, you know, what I'm saying for myself is not me trying to project that onto you. I'm just saying that for myself personally, I will not be taking a break from social media unless I'm at work. Um, yeah, and I guess that's kind of it on that, but yeah. Um, as far as the good cops, bad cops thing goes, I'm not, oh, excuse me, sorry. I'm not 100% sure on how I feel about the good cop, bad cop, you know, thing. So, well, there's, you know, there's good cops too. I'm aware, I know some. But, like, I don't know, I guess I don't really know some. I don't really know a lot of cops. But I feel like I have known good cops, or at least as far as I knew, good cops. Um, I'm still trying to, I guess, educate myself and make a stance on that. But, I don't know. Um... While I think that, yes, there may be good cops out there. And I'm not saying, ugh, fuck, there's, yeah, this is a lot. Um, well, I'm not saying that there's not good cops out there. I fucking admire the ones that 
have quit their fucking jobs as a police officer because of the corrupt systems. And I'm not saying that you need to quit your job because I understand that your job is what puts food on the table. So if you can't fucking quit your job just out of nowhere because of all the stuff going on, you know, okay. But I just want to shout out the fucking people that have because of the corrupt system. And I just think it's so fucking admirable that they did that. You know, they said, fuck this shit. I'm out, dude. And I just think that's amazing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how I stand on that yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. But I do want to say that if you say blue lives matter, it's not a fucking life. It's a choice. You, this person chose to be a cop. They get to take, like I said, they get to take the uniform off at the end of the day and climb into bed. You know, black people don't get to take their skin off at the end of the day and not be black anymore. So, you saying blue lives matter means fucking nothing to me, at least. Um, I don't want all of that to come across as like me saying that I want the police to be hurt because that's not it. I don't want fucking anybody to be hurt. I want all, this all to just finally be at peace. I'm not a fighter. <laughs> like, I don't want black people getting hurt. I don't want black people being killed. I don't want Hispanics being killed. I don't want white people being killed. I don't want cops being killed. I don't want people being killed, okay? So don't take my words and twist them and say that, well, since I'm on this side, then I just want, you know, all this stuff. No, fuck that. You don't get to tell me what I want <laughs> because I don't want people being killed and that's fucking that. But, <sighs> I don't know. I guess it's kind of all that I have to say about that. Um, I do want to get into, and my friends talked about this on the podcast a little bit. Um, so if you haven't checked out their podcast, I'm going to plug a little bit. I'm so sorry. That's probably extremely inappropriate, but check out Slightly Informed Podcast. They did an amazing podcast on all of this going on. I don't know if it's up yet. If it is, I will link it in the bio, but please check it out. Seriously. Um, it's amazing. Uh, I want to talk about how cops need, you know, 500 to 600 hours of training to be a police officer, but hairstylists need 1,500, 2,000 hours to be a certified hairstylist. What is that? What fucking is that? There's so many things that need to change within the system that you know me as a me i don't know how to fucking fix but and i don't know i feel like you know we have these ideas and stuff but it's a giant fucking issue that you know there's not a solve all so but it just yeah it blows my fucking mind that hairstylists need a significant amount of more hours in training than a police officer does why so you can fucking look good okay cool great um police officers definitely fucking need at least the same amount because they're supposed to be the ones protecting us so why don't you have more training on how to protect us or how to not be a piece of shit i guess um and another thing that i saw too was that cashiers are supposed to keep their calm when dealing with Karens, for example. Um, but a trained police officer can't keep their calm? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't fucking make sense. And it pisses me off. And I also want to address some of the things that I've been seeing as well of, you know, well, look at all these looters, look at all these riots, look at blah, blah, blah. Looters are looters. They're not protesters. Don't fucking get it mixed up. Looters are literally trying to ruin the movement. Don't get it fucking mixed up. Looters are not protesters. 
they are totally totally fucking different and they are taking advantage of the movement for their own fucking personal grain gain because they're selfish that's it and with that i want to say you know let black people lead their movement if you are white and you are an ally fantastic that's fucking great but like do what they say you know protest how they want to protest because at the end of the day all of what's going on is coming back onto them and so if you're being a piece of shit and if you're looting if you're hurting people that's going back on them and that's fucking destroying it so get your shit together and listen to how they want to protest about their movement or our movement because it's everybody's fucking issue it's a human rights issue it's everybody's problem so just be an ally listen to what they have to say and follow their instructions because this is for them because black lives matter and i don't know how many times i need to say it to get it through some of these people's fucking brains that black lives matter I also want to talk about um, Tuesday. Was it on Tuesday? I think it was, on, yeah, Tuesday. <sighs> Tuesday, in case you're unaware. Um, here in Boise, we had a vigil. Um, and it was fucking beautiful, I guess, is kind of all that I really have to say about it. Um, it started out with this woman, I don't remember what her name was and I'm so sorry. She started off telling, you know, the story about her best friend dying and being murdered by the police and whatnot. Um, and I was a little bit late into uh, getting to the vigil, so I kind of missed the beginning part of it. So um, if anyone was there like sooner than me and knows like the, the history behind the story, please, 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 please tell me. Um, but she spoke with so much power behind her voice. I was almost crying because fuck, I had chills. Thinking about it gives me chills because Jesus Christ, it was so beautiful. Um, and then we had like a, like a candlelit ceremony and, um, we all said the names of the people that you know, have lost their lives to police brutality and have been murdered. Um, and it was so fucking beautiful. And I, I don't care how, and I don't care how long that list was. I was saying every single fucking name because we need to say their names. I want to thank, you know, everybody that was there and that kept it peaceful. Thank you for keeping it peaceful. It wasn't until later on, and I think it wasn't even until the next day that I found out that, you know, it got a little heated um, later on that night between counter protesters or, you know, whatever you want to call them and people on the right side of the movement. Because if you're not on the side of the movement, you're in the wrong, I guess. Well, no, not I guess. You're in the fucking wrong. Uh, you're on the wrong side of history, bud. You need to get with the times because black lives matter and they've always fucking mattered. But for some reason, you know, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. But, like I said, I just want to say thank you to, you know, the people there that did keep it peaceful. And I want to say thank you to the people that organized it because it was so beautifully organized actually they had spots specifically for handicapped people they had a sign language interpreter and that's so fucking amazing to me that was so amazing to me that made my heart so warm and it made me love where i live even fucking more just thinking about it i'm trying very hard not to cry believe it or not <sighs> So, there's a couple things that I have saved that I want to read out. Um, this is 
not coming from my brain whatsoever. Um, this is me literally reading things out from stuff that I found online, but they don't have the names to quote who it was, so I'm very sorry, but I just wanted to say that ahead of time. So this one specifically is for people that are on the wrong side of history here. Why is the protest violence angering you more than police murdering people? Why? I also want to say that being pro-black does not mean that you're anti-white. So don't get it twisted. The other thing I wanted to say, pandemics are real whether or not you know someone that is sick. Racism is real, even if you aren't a racist. White privilege is real, even if you don't feel it. Police brutality is real, even if the cop you know is kind and just. Your world isn't the world. Everything is not about you. The other thing, or the other one. <laughs> Black lives matter, not just when someone is murdered not just when it's relevant on social media. Black lives matter every single second of every single day. I don't know, there's so much I wanna say about this topic. Um, and I see no color is not the goal. Again, I'm reading this from here, right? I see no color is not the goal. I see your color and I honor you. I value your input. I will be educated about your lived experiences. I will work against the racism that harms you. You are beautiful. Tell me how to do better. That is the goal. Yeah. Um, another thing that I wanted to touch on here. So I've, it's, been seen around and I've even been sharing it of comparing the people you know a few weeks ago or so or a month ago whenever it was the white people that were protesting with their big ass guns about having to self-quarantine about a you know during a fucking pandemic while again people are dying Karen stop being fucking selfish what's the male version of Karen Richard People are fucking dying, Richard. Stop being a selfish piece of shit. I get that you want to get your fucking hair cut. Okay, um, my camera overheated and I had to wait for it to cool down. And I had to cool down, um, so I kind of forgot where I was. But, um, lastly, to end this video this is a long one i'm sure and i apologize and if you're still here and you suck through the whole thing thank you um i appreciate you um unless you're racist then fuck you but anyways um i just i want to say a couple things um yeah just to just end this video um i wanted to i want to give a fucking shout out to nickelodeon because you're doing amazing sweetie um, I know I want to give a shout out to the, <laughs> to Ben and Jerry's, um, I don't know if you saw, um, but I don't know if they're actually Ben and Jerry, but that's what I'm going to fucking say, but Ben and Jerry <laughs> were arrested during the protests, and I really think that just goes to show that, like, it doesn't matter who the fuck you are, it doesn't matter your background, it doesn't matter, it doesn't fucking matter. You can be a part of this movement no matter who you are. Um, and I, I think it just goes to show what a great fucking company <laughs> that, you know, like, yeah, I don't know. Um, so bye Ben and Jerry's because shout out to them for doing what's right, I guess. Um, and same with the other many companies that are standing with us during this protest and, you know, not just the ones that are like, oh yeah, like we love you. Mm. No, I'm talking about like, you know, Legos, 
for donating four million dollars to different charities and you know different parts of the movement and for taking all of the police sets off of the shelves right now like it's fucking amazing dude like legos you are doing amazing sweetie but lastly i just want to say donate if you can if you can't it's fine um i'm gonna link the video down in the description as well that um it it's just to stream the video because all the proceeds of the video um are going towards um parts of the black lives matter movement and to not skip the ads in that video because like i said if you don't skip the ads and more money is generated for it, and that's how you can participate in donating that's what i've been doing i've streamed that video so many times just because i can't donate money right now um so donate if you can stream that video if you can't or just stream that video in general uh the video is also great because it it shares a lot of uh black artists and it's just fucking fantastic and i love it um but sign petitions seriously guys i'm gonna link a bunch down below i'm gonna link just a bunch of threads also on twitter that i've seen um so a lot of them are gonna be twitter links but they are gonna send you to the threads of um, petitions that you can sign they take 30 seconds at most to sign the petitions so it's the least you can do is to sign the petitions um and say their fucking names guys don't stop saying their names they're gonna try and give us just some bullshit like stuff to end this but don't like don't let this end until like what needs to happen seriously happens this is not a joke this is not just something that can just get brushed off again like this this can't just be something that you know is viral and then ends no this needs to stop and this this you know it just and when I say this needs to stop, I mean racism needs to stop. Don't get that twisted. But I don't want to get this, I don't want to get into all of this again because this video is already going to be like 50 minutes. But donate, sign petitions, say their names. I'm going to have plenty of links in the description below um, for places you can donate, petitions you can sign, that video to stream. I'm going to have a lot of stuff down there. So, yeah. And I, I don't know. I guess that's it. Um, black lives fucking matter.